I know you're busy. In this modern world, everybody is really busy, but you're single and you don't want to be. You're probably trying online dating and you're a little bit frustrated, but you don't want to be single, so you're keeping at it. I want to make it really simple for you. I want to make it really easy for you so you don't get frustrated. So, let's say you've been messaging a guy online and you like him, but you're not 100% sure but you're willing to give him a chance. This is what I suggest that you do. This is what I suggest to do, my, to ask all my clients to do. It just takes the pressure off them, it makes them relax. And one of the key things in dating is to relax. So what I suggest is that you set up some time constraints. So this means you've got to be good at communicating and it's really important how you communicate as well with the guy. But I want you to relax. I want you to see your time as precious, which it is, and also to let him know that your time is important, but because you like him, you want to give him some of your time. Okay, so let me go into a few more details how you can do that. First of all, what I always suggest, especially if you've just messaged online and you don't really know who this person is, to keep it simple and light, relaxed and casual, and just go for a coffee date. Coffee dates are just a really relaxed setting anyway. The time period is pretty much around an hour. It can be longer, of course. But as soon as you suggest a coffee date, or perhaps he suggests dinner and you say, hey, that would be really wonderful, but how about just for a coffee? Everybody knows what that means. So you're going to relax knowing that it's just going to be a short period. And look, if you like him and he likes you, if you both like each other, you can extend that period. But let's say you want to be a bit more detailed about this. Let's say you absolutely want to put a time constraint on it. This is some of the tactics some of my clients use. That if you're driving for this date, then if, uh, you know, if you know where you're parking and you're parking, say for example, at a supermarket, there's a limited time there. So you already know mentally you've got a short window of time when you meet him, you can let him know, he says, hey, I've just parked at the supermarket. I can only stay there for however long that it is. So you both know where you both stand. You can both relax and just enjoy the day. Let's say you've um, parked at a, a parking meter. I would suggest you put a certain amount of money in there. And I know you can use your phones now these days. So you have a time limit, an hour, for example, an hour and a half. Again, when you meet up with him, you can say, hey, I've just parked down the road. I've only got an hour and a half. And so you both know where you both stand with this time limit. You'll relax. He'll understand where you're at and you can just get on and enjoy the day. How does that sound to you? Have you done that before? If you have, I'd love to hear your stories about it because I want you to relax. I want you to just have fun. And let's say, you know, so let's say you're going out for drinks. So if you're going out for drinks, you won't be driving, of course. Don't drink and drive. <laughs> and then you can't use, well, I've only just parked down the road. I've only got a limited time. So let's say you've gone out on a Monday to Friday. A fantastic line to use. Now, remember this. You can say, well, you know, I really like you. So I definitely want to see you on X, whatever day that is but it is a school night. There you've already set it up. You've already set up that your time is gonna be limited. You won't be spending the whole evening out. This way you're gonna to get to meet someone because if you're not sure, but you wanna give him a chance, right? And you wanna give yourself a chance to meet someone. This is an easy way to do it. So remember if it's from Monday to Friday, when you're setting that day, you say, yeah, I really would love to meet up with you. It's really important that you let him know that you really would like to spend time with him and it's a school night because I don't want you to sound as if you're so busy that you don't have time because that can be off-putting. If you start to say, look, I'm just, I've got this and I've got that and I've got this and you come across as being really busy, he might think, well, she doesn't have time. And if he's looking for a relationship, if he's ready, that actually might turn him off. So you always have got to start with, yeah, I, I am really busy. And because I like you, because I want to spend some time with you, I'm going to make space to spend time with you. And it is a school night.
Do you see how that sounds? That's much more gentle, that's much more soft. There are clear boundaries in place. You'll relax, he knows where he stands. And let's say, you know, you do get on together. Look, don't worry. If you two really like each other, you've got a couple of choices here. You can extend the time. You'd wanna do that, right? If not, then when it comes to the end of the day, you again say, look, you know, I really enjoyed my time with you. I really enjoyed spending this time with you. You've got to let him know that you enjoyed it and that you would love to see him again, but you've got to go. If you don't say those things beforehand and you just say, well, you know, I've got to go, most likely he's going to think you're not interested. And so to some guys, you know, if he thinks that way, he's just going to leave it. There are some guys who are much more confident and much more dominant that that's not going to phase them. But I want to give you the best opportunities to be with a great quality guy. So always tell him if you like him. Don't be scared about letting someone know that you like him. Let him know that you like him. But hey, it's a school night. Let's say it's on the weekend. So you can't use it's a school night. You can always say you've had such a busy time and you would love to have an early night and you enjoyed his company. That's only if you want to see him again. But if you don't want to see him again, everybody knows if you're kind of rushing off, it's code that you don't want to see him again. But if you do, you've really got to make it clear that you've had a great time. So just follow those suggestions. You know, limit your parking time to go out for coffee or if it's in the evening, then just for drinks. I really don't suggest dinner these days because you don't know who you're really going to meet. Even if you're messaging online and it sounds great, even if you had a conversation and you think, wow, this is amazing. You really don't know if there's true chemistry, if there's a true spark until you two actually meet. Okay, so follow those suggestions. I guarantee that your dating life will become so much easier. Your stress levels will start to go down, which is what you want. You'll relax and when you relax, you're going to have more fun and he's going to enjoy your company much more. Even if, you know, you realize, okay, this is not the right guy because you're relaxed. It's okay. And you can just think, okay, that's okay. And you move on to the next one. So thanks for watching. I really wish you success in online dating. I know it can be a bit of a nightmare, but absolutely do not give up. Keep on watching my videos and you'll find lots of dating tips, lots of relationship advice. But for now, I wish you well and bye for now.